Let's meet our next guest. Neil Finn is in the special group of Kiwis who are on our Aussie list. Keith Urban, yep, ours. Russell Crowe, yeah, he's ours when he wins Oscars. Not so much when he chucks mobile phones at people's heads. And Neil Finn, born in Te Awamutu. Neil and brother Tim form Split Ends. Who dominated the charts in the early 80s. From there, Neil moved to Melbourne and formed one of the most beloved bands this country has ever seen, Crowded House. Hit after hit kept coming until they disbanded in the 90s. It didn't stop Neil making music with the old, the new and the odd reformation of his previous bands. Music's what he loves and why we love him, with this year keeping him busy hitting the road with a new album. Please welcome Neil Finn. Everybody singing together like that. I still get chills. I loved that moment. Absolutely loved that moment. Well, that was a great thing about bringing Crowd of House back is that the audience just sang oh. all the songs. I didn't even have to sing. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking before about famous New Zealanders and how we claim them. How about Lord? Surely uh, she's up there now. I think you've had a go. I think it's already been tried. I think the people at the Grammys called her an Australian and there was a lot of dissension back home. Mm. But um, yeah, she's an incredible 17 mm. year old wonder of force of nature really mm. yeah. yeah um and uh, moving back to you lord's great let's move on from her she's old news <laughs> <Yeah>. um, <laughs> back to crowded house um obviously some amazing songs thank you for that uh, i want to ask you about the the new album but just quickly what do you think of charlie's singing before was that all right roxanne oh I, I, yeah yeah i only saw a tiny bit of it back in the green room because i was eating cheese and drinking red wine so <laughs> I, Sorry, that's, but it, that's, it, that's the audience I aim for, is those <laughs> eating cheese and drinking red wine. Well, I looked up. Well, good. Yeah, I looked up for a moment. There yeah, you go. So there we go. Well, the good news is you're not getting inspiration from him, but what's the new album like? <laughs> I'm sure it's just as good as the past. Oh, I, hope, I hope it is, yeah. I've worked really hard on it. and it's, uh, it's, I worked with a guy called Dave Fridman up in upstate New York. I made a big journey from New Zealand. I gave it a sense of occasion, because that's what you have to do with a record. And... Uh, He's kind of like um, got the brain of a freak, but he's actually like a rocket scientist and a lovely man. So it was a good collaboration and I enjoyed it. I think it's a good record, yeah. I'm just curious to know, when do you know when you're recording an album that you've got enough? Is it just you've, you only booked a certain number of days or, or do, you, do you have a feeling like you go, yeah, this one's done now? It has to be abandoned, the record, basically. Um, it's not me that said that, but it's true. I'd recorded twice as many songs as I needed and uh, just decided that I had to sort of take the big axe to it. I actually p actually find it quite liberating, wonderful thing to to destroy what I've created. So I just, at the end of a project when I've got 16 or 17 songs, I, I, I actually really seriously enjoy cull culling four or five of them. Well, I'm very serious in saying I think you are the best lyricist of our generation. Like, I, I think you're absolutely stunning and you, the music's so timeless. You've been asked before, I'm sure, what your favourite song of yours is. Do you have a favourite lyric? Um, <laughs> Sorry to embarrass you. No, no, well, I, I, I've got a few that actually they usually read better after the event because at the time I'm, there's a mixture of inspiration, creativity and bluff in every lyric. Really. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> so you're just trying to make something rhyme in the end of the day and you go, well, maybe no one will notice that one. So, <laughs> but actually, like, years later, sometimes they start to resonate because you don't realise what's, um, what's happened. And I've actually ripped off my... Um, I, anything is uh, acceptable in terms of getting a good lyric over the line. I, my son Liam, when he was about seven years old, had a very desperate fever one night in Melbourne and I was sort of tending to him with a cold flannel and he spouted some really good lines. <laughs> <laughs> so I, rather than sort of keep tending to him, I ran downstairs and wrote a little song called uh, Pineapple Head and used some of his... <laughs> which was his expression, and he also talked about a detective being flat, which I thought was a good line. It was the opening line of the song. He's still hitting me up for the lyrics, for the uh, royalties of that one. And playing, so, yeah. and playing with Pearl Jam at the same time. Pretty well, he's, cool. yeah, he's, he's getting out there and, and he's, uh, he's got big aspirations, yeah. Once he gets that royalty check, finally. <laughs> it's coming through. Um, Neil, uh, unfortunately we are out of time, but we would love to have you back any time you're in town. Please just swing by. Uh, the yeah. new album is uh, Dizzy Heights. It's out February 7th. The national tour starts March 6th. All the details are on our website. Would you please thank the wonderful Neil Finn. Thank you.